my dear brothers and sisters let us read this passage gospel of matthew chapter 21 verse 6 onwards let's read this passage the disciples went and did as jesus had directed them verse 7 they brought the donkey and the colt and put their cloaks on them and he sat on them a very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road my dear brothers and sisters the holy week is beginning with a procession that is the palm sunday procession and then again continue with another procession that is good friday procession and that procession ends on mount calvary in fact the procession starts in jerusalem outside jerusalem and enters into jerusalem and from there from inside the jerusalem there is a procession outside the jerusalem and the walls of jerusalem and with these the holy week there are two processions in the holy week that is palm sunday procession and good friday procession these two processions are very important on the palm sunday procession jesus is the center figure and the good friday procession again jesus is the center figure on the palm sunday procession everyone is shouting in favor of jesus good friday procession everyone is shouting against jesus the same crowd the same situations same place within a time of four or five days the attitude of the people changes my dear brothers and sisters do not depend on human beings always follow jesus he never changes but the people changes and on the good on the palm sunday procession people are holding the palm leaves in their hands and glorifying jesus on good friday procession people were holding whips in their hands and beating jesus and shouting against jesus on palm sunday of a procession people removed their cloak and spread it on the road so that jesus can walk over it but on the good friday procession they removed even the cloak of jesus and made him naked on the palm sunday procession the people cut the branches of the trees and spread it on the road so that jesus can walk over it but on good friday procession the same people cut a tree and kept it on the shoulder so that jesus can carry it on the good friday procession the people people shouted saying on the palm sunday procession people shouted at the top of their voice and said hosanna to the son of david on the good friday procession the same people shouted at the top of their voice and said crucify him crucify him and on the palm sunday procession this procession entered into jerusalem temple at the end jerusalem temple was cleansed jesus cleansed the jerusalem temple and good friday procession the procession enters into the heavenly the calvary on the calvary jesus sacrificed himself and cleansed the temple that is our body jesus cleansed our, the temple that is our body palm sunday he cleansed the jerusalem temple on good friday he cleansed our body that is the temple and thus these two processions are very much connected my dear brothers and sisters as we are in the holy week let this point be an ins- an uh, uh, information at the same time a reflection for each and every one of us let's close our eyes and see the attitude of us always changes but god's attitude towards us never changes on the palm sunday jesus listened to all the shouting of joy appreciation and praises and glory and the same jesus on palms on the good friday heard the shouting of depression shouting of rejection shouting of annoying and shouting of anger shouting of 
and every kind of unforgiveness but jesus was same his attitude towards the people was same and he was not shaken let's close our eyes and see the lord is telling you and me to focus only on jesus not on any human beings